Uh, hello, I have been following Tom Francis' videos on making a game with no experience. Um, I started by just cloning the example game and sort of learning from that, but then uh, after a while I also sort of branched off and made my own little experiment. And uh, I wanted to just document and show the progress so far. So, if we unpause this, we have our little character here. And she can walk around, and she has a sword, which she can swing, and evil bats are attacking, because video games. Um, and yeah, we kill them with a the sword, quite simple, um, that works fine. And there are these big enemies, and they shoot at us with something, uh, and it hits, it hurts, and uh, that's fine, because we have infinite health right now. Uh, we cannot kill the big enemies with sword because they. Um, I don't have any hit detection code on them because I'm very lazy. But this is where the sort of secondary mechanic uh, comes in, uh, which is actually the main thing, first sort of idea I had uh, that I wanted to try out. And uh, it's these armadillos are walking around, and as you see, when we get close to them, they curl up into a little ball. And we can't hurt them with the sword, because they are armoured. So, uh, we have a second weapon, which is this club. And it works like a sword. Um, it takes three hits to kill a bat with that, and it knocks them back. But if we hit an armadillo with it, it will launch it. And if it hits something, uh, it will explode. Uh, <laughs> So that is how you kill the big enemies right now. Um, and that was the sort of first idea I had, the first thing I just wanted to try out, just to sort of launch something from and see what happens. Uh, and it works, but the way it works right now, to be honest, is not a very fun mechanic. Uh, because they launch straight from the center of your character, uh, and it turns out that over a distance, it can be quite difficult to tell well where they will end up. Uh, so that's not great, but it works. Um, you, oh yeah, you can also kill the cactuses, because for some reason uh, I thought that would be a good idea. And uh, here's the end of the level. Uh, it is the evil cave uh, where the evil bats come from. And as you can probably see, there is an object there called a warp, which should be transparent, but isn't because I am lazy. Uh, and uh, yeah, if we walk into it, we will be taken to level 2. And as you can probably see now, this is a side-scrolling platformer all of a sudden, because that sounded like a fun thing to try. And it has a different art style, and um, also significantly better animations. Though. Um, because it turns out that even a tiny little bit of practice I've had it really helps. Uh, so that's good. Uh, I don't have any big plans for this. I will just make jumping and things possible. And then I'll make a tiny area to explore. And maybe some combat, like a simple, very simple boss fight or something. And then I'll probably be done for now with this sort of experiment. Um, yeah, there's been a lot of really first things going into this. This is the first time I've coded something. It's the first time I've done sort of digital art, drawing, painting. Um, it's the very first time I've tried to animate something. And all of those things are really difficult. And they're also really time consuming. But they're also a lot of fun. So that's good. And that's about all I have to show for now. So, thanks. Bye.